get it. He's just criticizing me to cover up the pain of his own failed dream. Damn! From the studios that brought you up, the Toy Story franchise and Inside Out, comes another future classic that has been trending for the past few days. And if you haven't heard of it, well, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but it is Soul. Yes, and his name it is, is Soul. John First C animation movie in recent years to have a black character in its starring role and also be a predominantly black movie, which I was very excited about it, and that was actually one of the main reasons why I checked this movie out. This movie is the only movie that I have been so hyped to watch, and already my expectations were so high when I was going in to watch it. And I can confidently say that this movie has met most of my criteria. Now let's get on with it. It's about a part-time music teacher named Joe, who loses his soul to an unfortunate accident by falling through a manhole and has to work to get it back. Now through his journey to get his soul back, he goes and finds out the great beyond and the great before, two places where souls are when they're about to die and when they're about to go into this world to be formed. Now, because Joe isn't dead, he wants to get back into his body, but that's against the rules and we have Jerry trying to find him. Now, Jerry is part of this race called the some some some. As the movie doesn't clearly state what race they belong to, but what we do know is that they're basically powerful four dimensional beings who have control over the universe and actually the multiverse as a whole. So. These characters or these beings control everything that goes on. They can make you die, they can make you live, they can control matter. So yeah. And the antagonist of the movie is basically one of these beings and his name is Jerry and he's just an uptight, annoying misfit. I think he's, you know, the black sheep of all those beings because all of them, their names are terry but his is jerry but i just hate him because he sucks and he just like a hissy throws a hissy fit when the whole situation with joe happens and he just spends the whole movie trying to get him back now this is where we go into 22. joe is mistaken for a psychologist and he's given to 22. 22 is a soul who has had so many mentors throughout the years throughout thousands of years such as abraham lincoln and mother Teresa. But she has made all of them give up on her. So now it's up to Joe, who's also known as Bior, to find out what makes 22 complete. So in order to do this, they engage in different games that will appease 22. This finally culminates in the ending where it is found out that 22 also likes music, like jazzing as she likes to call it. So when this happens, she go she gets her urge patch and goes to earth but then joe is sent back and when we finally think that joe is about to die at the end terry comes back and terry gives him the biggest deus ex machina ever and returns it back to his home that's basically it that's soul this movie is freaking awesome the visuals on this movie is made by pixar so already i knew that it was going to be amazing and it was if you look at the movie it's just everything is so silky smooth the way the characters interact with each other, it's perfect. Just look at this. You can tell that they took used a lot of time and they put a lot of effort into creating and designing this movie. The movie is also genuinely funny as I found myself cracking up at certain points of the movie, especially during the many interactions between 22 and Joe. That stuff was freaking hilarious. Also, 22 as a Joe, that, that part was also kind of messed up because, you know, she'd be cleaning his button thing, so... We don't really know what's happening over there. Next, something that I really loved about this movie too was the musicality of it all. Especially in the first scene when Joe is playing his piano for all the kids in the class. You can really tell that he is really into it and he is really in tune. Bruh. And I think the movie did a great part of describing how the zone was. For the many musicians, gamers, and athletes who tap into it all the time unknowingly. So apart from that, let's talk about some things I didn't like about the movie. First and foremost was Jerry. Jerry, Jerry was a piece of Jerry just sucked throughout the whole thing. Like he was pretty freaking annoying for me. He did not had anything to it. And this is probably like too much, but I really hated him. He, he just sucked. He's the worst. Jerry's the worst. Everybody in the comments just tell me how bad Jerry is. Jerry's the worst. Also, I felt like the beginning was a bit rushed. The way everything just happened so quickly. 
like we just saw joe joe just got the contract not really the contract the option to become a full-time teacher and then bam he just died so i didn't really like that about the beginning but the rest was very very good and also everybody remember this this is my theory i think that the girl i forgot her name the asian girl who was playing the tuba or the saxophone in the first scene in joe's class i think that she was zoning at, at that moment watch the movie and just look at that part again and you will see that it's true she was really zoning out that's from me but anyway this movie was freaking fantastic i loved it i'll give it a 8 out of 10. on rotten tomatoes it already has a 97 percent so i think this movie is in good hands now if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and leave a comment down below on how you feel i'll see you guys next time bye